Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Emmett Audio. <clears throat> I have the feeling right now that I've lost some steam. Probably because we were gone for a couple days. And also because... Um, there... Uh, there's just a bunch of sort of random things that are not... Part of the usual weekly schedule that are that are on my plate for this upcoming week that are going to eat up basically all of the week. And the third reason why I feel like I've lost some steam is that it's, we've had a string of gray, cloudy days. And so I've been struggling with that, and it occurs to me that that's probably something that we all struggle with at times, even if you're not struggling with it now. Uh, at various moments, I think we struggle with that. I think... I think often we struggle with losing steam when we um, either hit a critical mass of things, too many additional things on our plate that bog us down, or if we feel intimidated by something that we have to do. And then I think we sort of We do it to ourselves as a way of protecting ourselves against whatever effort it is that is going to be required of us to get over this hump. So I'm keenly aware that, you know, the feeling of having lost steam is probably due to these things. As such, I have a couple things that I keep in mind as as little hacks that help me with the situation. The first is real simple, which is just to try and clean up, clean up whatever spaces I am operating within as much as possible so that um, I find that when I clean spaces that they act like a vacuum. They suck activity into them because, well, because they're a vacuum, because I've made empty space in the world. They're now... Um, energy flows in to fill it. And I don't mean that in some woo way. I just mean it in, I, I, I truly believe that that's part of what's going on. It's, it's not just that you work better in a clean space or anything like that. It's truly that uh, you feel more energy to do stuff within a clean space because there is a, because the world wants a little more chaos than that. And, and the way you get chaos is through activity so I clean I clean my spaces I also make a fresh to-do list just to make sure I have a, a plan because I find that breaking up some project down into a plan is a sure way of making it less daunting and and if I do a good job with the to-do list then I walk away with a situation that I know what I need to do next or what the logical next step is and especially if I can break it down into a discrete granular part that doesn't ask of me to, to interpret, you know, what to do next about some grand, larger pl- plan, but instead says, you need to do this one specific thing today or tomorrow. Um, and, then, and then finally, the thing that I find that helps me get out of that feeling of being of losing steam is to start something, anything, and build on that. Because one of the hardest things is to, well, it's the blank phage phenomenon. It's the, it's the, if you, if you get yourself to a place where you're essentially looking at a blank page, that's way more daunting to deal with than if you, um, have some sort of momentum going forward and so those things cleaning cleaning my space getting a to-do list that makes it clear to me sort of uh well that makes it less daunting to to know what i need to do and then starting the very first thing that's on the to-do list in some at some predetermined you know logically determined time that's the that's the formula really 
And, um, and, and the good thing is I don't need somebody uh, breathing down my neck or imposing some external thing in order to start that. Um, but I do need to start it myself in the sense that I need to set those wheels in motion myself. So I'm about to go into the house and I'm going to work on my to-do list. And we'll, we're going to bust this feeling up. Thanks for listening. Talk tomorrow.